we are here in Minneapolis with the first city guided PCI course in the United States. Uh, we have, uh, as best as I know, about almost 50 positions. For this is something that has been occurring in Europe, and now this is the first wave uh, for us to really try to understand how to use CT to guide percutaneous coronary intervention in our day-to-day -day practice. We have a lot of people from our group, from the Minneapolis Heart Institute, but we have people coming from Canada, uh, from Belgium, from really all over the country that have come together to discuss the opportunities. What we're basically trying to fill is a gap in practice. And we're now actually using a tool that is uh, known by the community, that is coronary CT, to understand what is the distribution of the plaque, the complexity of the plaque, and trying to do better procedures. And this is basically the first step of bringing that technology to the United States. So I'm extremely pleased to be here with all of you. But CTO PCI is actually very simple. It's four things we're looking for. The idea is really to provide not only some content lectures about updating the attendees about the field. You gotta minimize radiation contrast. Intentionally to be a small group so that we could have a very good discussion. So the lectures, then we had a hands-on. We had three cases discussing how we can dissect that case. Now we're going to have more lectures and tomorrow, second day with live cases. All right, good morning, everyone. Thank you so much for coming to the CT Guided PCI course. What we have learned from the colleagues around the, the discussion table was that this field is here to stay and we need to prepare how we're going to do that better. It's extremely valuable and I think merging technology, radiology, interventional cardiology is a huge accomplishment. And I think that this is what's going to take to move this field forward of CT guided PCI. Why has C coronary CT co-registration lagged behind? I think the number one challenge across the board for what this course is talking about is integration. And that starts with the integration between the imager, whether it's a cardiologist or a radiologist, and the interventionist and then integration of the technology into the cath lab. It's not the norm, but it should be. I think in 10 years from now, we'll look back and I think many people will be surprised that there was an era where the diagnosis of heart disease was done without looking at the coronary arteries. And today, to have this opportunity, I feel like we're at the start of something that ultimately is going to become the norm. Another option here would be to use a angulated. Everything that you learn, should be shared with everyone else. Not only because they learn, but also because the person who shares his or her experiences also learns the same way. So I'm very passionate about sharing whatever we learn, and every day in the cath lab we always learn something with everyone else around the world. And you can see the epicardial collateral from the RCA, actually. I think we're on a very exciting path, and I think to see MHI's leadership in this space and to help us build this out and educate a generation of uh, young trainees in interventional cardiology. I think that's exactly what we need. We need to continue to expose interventionalists, but I think we need software that will just simplify the presentation of the data with an appearance that's familiar to interventionalists. Let's invest in quality and excellence and understand that it will help our patients in the long run. I think there will be a lot of other institutions that can look at this and learn from this and physicians go back to their institutions and say, you know, we can do it too. This is the right time for us to uh, identify those unmet needs and move forward um, uh, into the future.